Hello, this is Not a Spring Chick, and today for Cooking with Not a Spring Chick, we are going to make a pasta with the hollandaise crab sauce. Ooh, now, I'm really excited about this because we, were, of course, we're cleaning out the cupboards and we found some things in there that we hadn't seen um, for a while, which I've been really anxious to use. One of them is, this is a company called Robinson Crusoe, it's stone crab. Yes, you've got it, stone crab in a can. We picked that up at a trade show. Yes, it was a food trade show. <laughs> we also have Cry Philadelphia white chocolate. I guess this is actually technically cream cheese, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's cream cheese, yeah. A package of hollandaise sauce, pasta, and of course, olive oil. And what we're making today, see part of it is we're changing a few things from what you would typically expect because we're short of a couple of important items. One of them being milk and the other being butter, yeah, well, which is why we're using the Philadelphia cream cheese. Because what happens is we were gone for a week at a trade <laughs> show and we come back, everything's gone. Everything. Well, sometimes this happens when you're cooking is what you intended to cook with is no longer there. And you've got the choice of either to run out to the store and utilize what you have existing or perhaps you're cleaning out the cupboard and trying to make something. So we're modifying this recipe slightly because... Because what we got greens. to cook with. Mm -hmm. Now, we, this is pasta that, that's leftovers. And we're adding... Oops. We also didn't have butter to mix in with it. Butter basically had a tendency to keep it separated. So we're, we have to go with what we got with a little bit of good oil. And then we'll heat it up and then mix the oil up in it too. So. So because this is this is what you you don't throw that pasta away that you're not using. I know. So um, that's why it, it, it basically is usable. I know. So we gotta just, so this is great because it helps to break it all up. And it's good. This is good olive oil. I mean, this is virgin olive oil, the real stuff in that container. I know. That's why. How do you it's know? in this container to yeah. keep it dark. Yeah. Because. So then we just got to heat it for a minute or so, and then leave it set in there while we're mixing all the other stuff up. So. Okay. So while we're mixing all the other, yeah. now I will tell you, I love this Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese because, first of all, I love cream cheese anyway. This one happens to be white chocolate flavored. Yeah. I know you're going. You're using that for the holiday sauce. Uh -huh. well, why not? Why not? It, it it's we've got it. And we're uh, we're substituting this for um, a cup for, of milk for, and a quarter and a quarter and a quart and, and butter. So mm, and this it, smells kind it's of sweet. really good. It'll, it'll give your hollandaise sauce a little bit of a sweetness to yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we're we're being decking it. Oh, and for those people that don't know, yes, I am the one with the creepy sounding voice that directs everything behind the deal. <laughs> so. It doesn't bother me with insulting me. I've been doing this for five years. Well, and one of the things that you'll realize is if you've been following us, is I usually don't know what we're making until they set it all up in front of me. So I'm trying to kind of, yes, I'm trying to kind of create something from what we have. Yeah, and then and I'm like, oh, this is what we're going to call it. So sometimes. Okay, she doing. changed. Okay, the original pasta, we, we live in a, this, this building is a pasta free building. So what happens when we come back from the trade show? All of the pasta is gone. So therefore, oh, we're mean? using what we have other than what we should be having. The other part about the cream cheese is it's also thicker than milk and butter would be. Yeah. Right? So now we just so we're gonna add just a little bit of water to this. Yeah. Because we actually want it to come to be about a cup and a quarter right there. Because we still have to mix the um, the hollandaise sauce in. There's the, like I said, that the people say, well, she's supposed to be cooking. Why is she telling her what to do? Because she doesn't know what we're doing. That's why. If she did, the fun would be missing. Well, that would happen with the fun. And also the change it on camera while they're yeah. over there. And now we just mix our okay. holiday so, sauce. So, yes, we're going to put this in here. Yep. So this is not requiring any aid. Well, because it's a pre-mix. This mix has been sitting there for a while, too. Yeah. 
Actually, we were originally going to use Alfredo sauce, and somebody used our Alfredo sauce. Well, the Alfredo sauce would have been good with this. Yeah, we were going to Did use. We really? We were going to do Alfredo sauce with um, fettuccine, but our Alfredo it's sauce. There's a little bit in there. I know, but that doesn't count because Not you can't thin it. So. Uh, oh, this is going to be fabulous. I can okay. tell. Now we just got to dump our. Um, our crab in there. But I know that we're going to need to heat this up. Yeah. For better, um, for better consistency. Yeah. Or actually, should we heat it up before to thin the consistency? Or yeah, you can heat it up. Put, put it there. on high for a minute, and then get that. Right now, it's kind of coagulated in a few areas. Yeah. Well, because the butter. Uh, okay. We. Uh, it is cream cheese. It is cream cheese. We did something yesterday. We did a cherry crisp that we used. Um, the cream cheese in, and we basically it took we put it in the oven. Don't think from the beginning to end it took seven minutes. Oh, that was really And good. we heated the uh, the cherry crisp up for four minutes, on, and then when we took it out, not all of the uh, the cream cheese, the chocolate cream cheese had melted. You had little cream cheese all oh, through really the thing. Good. So it was good. Well, we had well, a good day yesterday. Well, and part of it is is um, I went to go eat some later because it was very good. But of course, I think everybody else was enjoying it too. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was one little tiny container where it was setting. Mm -hmm. That and so. So we're gonna see if we've got some juice from here. Yeah. Can you open it, or is it gonna have to be opened? Well, I think I'm just gonna. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what else guys are good for. Yeah. You can't get your finger underneath. I know. If I forget, because I have to open everything. That I have to. Open. Oh, look at this! Stone crab juice. Okay, yeah, we're then we'll have just don't just uh, dump the stone crab juice into something for the Montavious. We 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 don't spoil Monty. Monty is an older dog, and everything that's got anything that's got like oil in it stuff is good for it. Well, this is good anyway. For yeah. Her. So we she gets to have all the juice. Yeah, we give her all the juice as well. Lucky over. dog. Cats would love this too. Oh yeah, but Monty, it's good for her. It's good for her fur. I mean, she's an older dog, and she got a young dog's fur. So, yeah, she does. Right. Well, I love this juice too. See, part of it is you can save this juice and use it to make a sauce. Yeah, but we're. Oh, we could add it to the hollandaise sauce. Oh, I know, but we're. But then Monty wouldn't have it. Try to stir it up. Probably really getting nice over there. It's getting nice. I want to use a. Then, um, then if it's not thin enough yet, then cook it for another minute. Okay. As we get the lid off, because this is all subjective. I, I'm nowhere near the stuff, so I can't tell. Well, see, so you still have cl um, clusters of cream cheese. Yeah. So I'm trying to make, give it a smooth consistency. But what you have to do is to get it out and stir it. It says uh, hollandaise sauce should be put on top of the stove. It says for five minutes and stir it. So we're not doing the stove. We actually are trying to cut down on the amount of dishes as you see being used. We, we, we tend to use... That's um, all I needed to do. Yeah. No, I'll Fine now. Yeah, the consistency looks... Oh, actually... You put it in for another minute okay. while you open the lid. What's that? You, you no, know, no, no, just put it in for another minute and then you can... And then put that in? The, yeah, then put yeah. that in. Cause, yeah, because that's the consistency that we're looking for right yeah. now. But like when they talk about the fact that she is doing the cooking, folks, because I am nowhere near it, so I have no idea what's going on. I'm, I'm 20 foot away looking at a monitor. Oh gosh! And that's all going to go into the, the liquid, and then when it gets done, we're going to pour it and uh, take it all out and hot it up with the mm. pasta again. So it's going to really be great. So we we. We use leftovers, and we use. I love them. this because you know usually when you get stone crab, where where do you get stone crab? You can get it at the supermarket. Or I keep keep thinking of Joe's stone crab, but it's, uh, it's seasonal, and you can only get it at certain times of the year in Miami. Oh, although they do have a place in Las Vegas where you can get it too. Yeah. But you can't always get it. Oh. Yeah, I think she her fingers. I won't guarantee you that she eats most of the stuff that's cooked. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, yesterday she got. We did a we did a pasta dish, and she took a little plate out, and then had three more plates after that. Well, the first noise is if you get a big plate, you'll fill it up. 
If you get a smaller plate, you won't put as much on your plate, but then you'll go for seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the consistency is much better. Now just put um, the stone crab in there for uh, about a minute on high because you say, well, it, that's not going to get it cooked yet, but it's still got to go over the pasta. Mm -hmm. And the pasta will, it will cook one more time after this. This is just to warm it. So, I smell the crab oh, from here, so. This is really good stuff. So it just, You know what else would be really good, too? What? Is, um, if you had curry. I'm going to pour a little bit in here to get some more of this sauce. Like, what are you doing? Uh-huh. Because this is warm sauce. Yeah. So we're basically kind of cleaning this out. Yeah, because we use everything. Because before you throw them away, you clean it out anyway, right? Yeah. And before you put we, them in the trash can. Here's the only thing we don't have. If we had a white wine, we'd add some of the white wine oh. to it. Oh! We have Wait a no, minute. We do have some. We do have white wine. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't you bring over the little one? Oh, there yeah. Again? They're in the container with the other big wine container. Oh, I'm not certain if those are white wine or not. No, there was a white. Okay, just take out the little containers. Oh my god, it's just a little one? Is that sort of thing? We're talking about little ones? We do have a white wine, good. Okay, we're going to put this in here. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be really good. Yeah. Okay. Because these are actually from, these were from um, an event we went to. Yeah, you can tell by the sample sizes. I, I, uh, I also have bottles of Monet mm -hmm. Champagne, which I actually am pre drinking, so. Sometimes being pressed people have disadvantages. Well, and if I had looked at this before, I didn't realize they were into this. This is virgin. Um, yeah, they're virgin. Virgin Vines, 2005 Chardonnay, California. Yeah, but the virgin logo that I'm looking at is like Virgin Airlines. Yeah. Right, Virgin Records. Okay, so it's right there. This is only, what is this, like three, four ounces or yeah, something? Yeah, you put a little bit in like that, and that's all that it takes. Oh, gosh. Then we're going to go heat it up. Oh my gosh, this is like so freaking decadent. Yeah. Stone crab hollandaise with white chocolate, okay. white wine. Okay. Oh. The, while we may do green cooking, we don't do cooking that basically, we don't count calories on what we cook. Well, usually when people think of green cooking, they're thinking, oh, you're going to be organic. A lot of times, green cooking is tasting better. You're thinking, oh, it's not going to taste good. Well, no, part of it is, is we're being green by um, not utilizing very many containers. <laughs> yeah, we cook in as few containers as possible and we use leftovers. And we're, using, le we're using a microwave instead of burning gas for 10-15 mm -hmm. minutes. So you're getting gourmet green cooking. Oh yeah. Gosh. Okay, so let's get a plate. I, I don't think there's such a thing as cooking gourmet. Or we can grab a bowl. Um, yeah, if you want. There, I, I don't, okay. The only thing is, well, uh, uh, if I do it, it in a bowl, we'll heat heat it up you can't see minute. it as well. Yeah. No, you can see it as well. I mean, because, uh, okay, so we're just going to put some on here? No, okay. we're going to go put it and heat it up. Which? That? That, yeah. Oh, okay. Then it's going to get poured over the top of the pasta and get heated again. So, see, that's that's where you can tell that I'm yeah, learning along no, the way. We don't, she never has no clue of what we're doing. Oh, let's try this way. You no, know, it's got to do with the whole so thing. It's with what? Okay, we try to make people understand she's you. She is you when it comes to cooking. She she has all of this stuff that she has to work with, but she doesn't know what to do with it. Most people throw their leftovers away. They I do. Mean, and you'll be surprised at how much stuff is sitting on kitchen cab and uh, sitting in pantries or on shelves in the kitchen that gets never used. The majority of the stuff I understand at Costco is always thrown out. Now here's something I would love to use. You're going to think this is really totally crazy. White cheddar popcorn seasoning. Yeah, you can do it. And they're going, what? No, actually, you see, it's got, it's basically white cheddar tasting salt. Yeah. <laughs> right? So we generally, you know, we, uh, we, if people have been watching us for years, we seldom what? put seasoning in what we're doing. No, so. we don't. But, I think but we do on individual pieces. Now you... You uh, basically get your pasta and put it on your plate. See, it's all individual pieces now. You can tell. Yeah, and I'm sitting here looking, going, 
Oh, I wish we had more pasta and more sauce because I just know this is going to be unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, this is like a, a side dish. Or actually, it's an entree. It, it, if, if we had we had salad, which unfortunately people eat a lot of salad. If we had our um, our organic, we buy organic salad because it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna pour some of that on your thing and then reheat that stuff with your cheese, with your salt stuff on it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. We'll, she'll finish it off with her little salt stuff and put it in the oven and cook it for about another minute on high. The object is not to really heat this stuff up. You can see everything has not been opened. I know. You can tell it hasn't been opened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know it's how it's good. Yes, I have the grace of. Yeah, this is, Let's see. We try to keep her away from things that are breakable. Also, the, this helps counteract the sweetness from the cream cheese. Yeah. It is, it is decadence. We talk, sometimes we do push decadence to the extreme. You got it open finally? Yeah, finally. Okay. Oh gosh, white cheddar. It's one minute on high, and it's ready to come out and eat. You know, so. Um, Here's where it'd be helpful if you had, for instance, um, celery with leaves on it, because you could sit there and chop the leaves up and sprinkle the leaves over the top of the thing, but we don't oh, have that. Oh, but it would also look great on a bed of lettuce. Yeah, we could also do it. Yeah. This oh, is yeah. like totally, totally, like totally, totally decadent. Oh, yeah. I can hardly wait to see what it's going to taste like. I mean, I have an idea. Let me see. Yeah. As people can tell from the, when we, since we've been cooking for the last few days, we do not go to the grocery store to buy stuff to cook with. <laughs> it is not done. So we'll go we'll go to the grocery store to buy, you know, milk and something to drink. But generally, it's we, we when we go shopping, we'll see stuff sitting on count on shelves and stuff, and we'll buy that for later use. I mean, right now we do know there's three things of hamburger that's open in the refrigerator, which means hamburger's got to get used again tomorrow, probably. Oh, I smell it. Oh, that smells fabulous. Yeah, you can smell all the different varieties and stuff. That it's like warm. I know she's. You're gonna go crazy oh, with this. Oh, this could be used just for serving. Yeah. Just for trying it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Put the sauce all over. Okay. We may just have to put this recipe out for you guys. Yeah. This is kind of... It's simple. Um, if you're going to do it from scratch, it's just as simple. You can use any type of um, any type of mm -hmm. stuff that you can get, but this is what we have on our shelves. Oh my gosh. Use any pasta. It works on fettuccine, works on elbow macaroni. Probably would work on uh, linguine. Spaghetti is really oh. not meant for them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, mm. it's called decadent. We're going to keep telling people. This is like totally. Uh, I'm also going to tell people that from the organic trade show, organic does not necessarily mean green. Green does not necessarily mean organic. And green does not necessarily mean reduced calories. It just mm. means it's green. So, and you have to be certified to be organic green. This is amazing. This is almost like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Hey, wait, this is like, wait, let's see. Stone crab white chocolate hollandaise pasta. Yep. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so freaking good. Oh my <laughs> she likes it. She loves her cooking because she's she's always amazed at how the stuff comes up. We can tell people for in reality, we have done over 200 shows and have never had a failure on anything mm. to cook, and it's only made once. And with white cheddar. Yeah. Stone stone crab with a hollandaise white chocolate. And we're also going to tell you what, a, a tip from the chef Guy Fieri that he told us. Mm. He said, you always make the recipe yours. 
So um, it, you, you take somebody else's recipe and then you go run with it, and it's basically she's made. Uh, we've made changes right mm -hmm. in front of you, so. Mm. It's just so freaking good. Oh, well, I guess you don't have to keep watching me. Eat. <laughs> yeah. This is good. Anyway, <laughs> stone, stone crab, white chocolate hollandaise pasta. Bon appetit. Enjoy.